Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make Gojo's Infinity slash Limitless Technique part two. Or, well, is this part two? Yeah, it's like part two slash updated, right? I don't know which one I'm with for the title. But anyway, if you haven't watched part one, go watch part one because as you guys can see, I already have stuff set up. If you already watched part one, then don't worry, you're good to go. I'm simply just editing some things uh, on the server script. So I'm just going to show you guys what I changed and stuff. It's just a little different. It's a little, I don't know. I felt like it was just generally a little dry. It just needed a little more, you know, a little extra. Because the whole thing was, the, the general idea was just all creativity. Like, from like, okay, this is generally what I saw in the anime and stuff. It's not like hollow purple or something. Or like, okay, I need a blue and red spear. I'm going to combine them and then shoot it. Like, it's it's not that simple. This was more, you know, creative. Creativity, I should say, and stuff. Um, Just saying Happy New Year's again. As you guys can see, I'm recording this video about three hours before New Year's. Stuff about to go celebrate like I, like as soon as i'm done with this video i just want to get the, knock this out since i finished this earlier than i thought i would but yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video okay so first thing first you guys you already know we have our ui we have the infinity spear inside of server storage and stuff like i said if you haven't watched part one go watch part one if you haven't already right and then we have our mode event scripts you know the rig and everything and then we have our script right our server script right so here's where we're going to be making the adjustments right so this should look familiar you know same thing as before we're going to make some adjustments okay so first things first right we're going to go right here we're going to press enter we're going to create an infinity table this is pretty much to keep track of all the players that make contact with the spear because i'm no longer relying on the touch and touch ended method like we're going to delete this function and stuff we're going to get to that though so i'm going to first create an infinity table i'm going to say local infinity table or, okay, just, just to clarify, so, so people don't get confused. I'm creating a regular table. I'm just naming it infinity table because the ability is, you know, infinity. Just to let people know. I didn't want to confuse nobody thinking there's, like, such thing as an infinite table or something. But, yeah. So, once we've created that, right, we're going to make some adjustments to this twin. To the twin as well. So, I'm going to change 1 to 0 0.5. At, at, like I said before, you guys can change the times and everything. Times, properties, that's completely up to you guys and stuff. I'm just showing you guys just generally what I went with, right? So I changed this to 0 0.5. I changed the easing style to exponential, right? Easing direction is out. And then size is, size remains the same, right? So it's just a little bit of adjustments to that. Then for the infinity clone dot touch function, I made some adjustments here. So I added some stuff to the if statement to check. So one, we're going to say and not table dot find because we don't want them, we don't want their name to be like added into the table more than once. We're gonna say infinity table hit dot parent dot name right we're gonna say hit that parent name and hit dot parent dot name is nil equal to player name this is to make sure that you know we're obviously not affecting our like the player who's using the ability right and then we can keep so we can keep this right we can keep this i just want to add one thing above it so enter and then i'm going to add the name to the table so table dot so we're going to say table dot insert infinity table make sure you're adding in the enemy player not the player using the ability so we want to say hit dot parent dot name right then we can skip it and go after and we can set up a four eye loop i'm going to use a highlight which is generally a new thing i think they added like a year ago and stuff this is something they use in blade ball for the ball and stuff to like we're going to give the we're going to give it like a just a general visual effect of like okay the players like the, like the player whole body is going to be blue pretty much it's going to look real cool in my opinion at least it is it is so i'm gonna use a four eye loop i'm gonna say four i comma v in pairs right and i'm gonna say hit dot parent get children enter i'm gonna say if v is a part or v is a mesh part making this r15 and r6 friendly enter right then we're going to create the highlight we're going to say local high sorry local highlight is equal to instance dot new highlight you're going to parent it to the body part whatever body part it is so v enter you're going to say highlight that adorni is equal to v right and then we're going to set up the highlight twin we could really just copy and paste the twin up here and just you know rename it so control c control v and we'll rename it save ourselves some time so highlight oh sorry highlight twin right then just paste over it then we're going to change this to v and then for the tween info we're going to change the time to one second we're going to have this as one um this would be the easing style will be linear easing direction will be out and then for the properties it's going to we're going to modify the fill color so we're going to say fill color is equal to color three dot new right and then we're going to 
Oh, okay. So I, I said that was just like what? I was so confused. Anyway, so for the so for the color, right? We're gonna say zero comma one seventy comma two five five, right? Want a light, a nice light blue, because you know that's like the general colors I imagine, like infinity blue, like either blue or white, right? Then we're gonna put a comma in between the parentheses and the special bracket, and then I'm gonna say fill. I'm gonna say fill transparency is equal to 0 0.5. Let me just double check. Okay, I'm good. So 0 0.5, right? Then I'm put a comma. And then I'm going to say outline color is equal to color three dot new. Now this is just gonna be white, so two so 255 across the board, right? So 255, right? And then we're gonna play and then we're going to play between and then boom. We're done. We're done with that. After that, um, when adjust the wait time to 0 0.2 seconds, so change to three seconds to a 0 0.2 second wait, you can delete that entire function, the entire touch ended function, right? And then after that, we're, we're uh, modifying this tween. So change this to 0 0.7. So you wanna change this to 0 0.7. Um, they could change it to exponential as well. Um, and then this, you're simply just, instead of doing the size, we're just simply doing transparency. So transparency, and then of course this is equal to you know one. Boom, that simple, right? And after that, we're going to we are going to um wait actually hold on. So we did that. So okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to move here. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say tween. Let me just oh, I just realized that is actually a potential issue. Okay, so this is so let's okay let's rename these so that we don't have any issues. Uh, let's say um. Maybe like first twin. I guess we just go like in numerical order. So like do first twin, second twin, because I just realized they're named the same thing. I mean, even though it would it would still work, we just generally don't want to confuse ourselves. Right? Y'all give me one second. Okay, okay, I'm good now. Okay, so we're gonna say second twin dot completed, connect function, or you could just do like a you know a task dot wait zero point seven seconds. But anyway, enter. Right, so when the tween is finished, we are going to pretty much do the same thing. We can just copy and paste this for our loop. So just control C, control V, boom, right? And then this time, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna actually wanna do is you're gonna wanna change things, right? So, okay, actually, I just realized, okay, okay. So undo what we just did. You do wanna have it copied, right? We need to actually set up a for I loop. It's gonna be a for I loop instead of a for I loop. So we're gonna say, for I V in pairs, we're gonna say workspace get children enter right, and then you're simply and then you're simply gonna say if table dot find, and then you know our table so infinity table and then v dot name enter. So if we find their name, so pretty much if we find their name with a table, right, then I'm gonna use then I'm going to we could paste it right. We could say we could do it and then this time just do I two and v two, so v two and then you're you know, you're going to change this to uh, V. You're going to change this to V dot where, wait, actually, hold on. R2 and pairs V. Or sorry, no, 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 just V get children. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need the parent. Just V get children because that's the character. And then, you know, and, that, and then, you know, we're changing, we're changing this. We're referencing the highlight, so we're not creating it this time. We're referencing it. So we're going to say V2 dot highlight. And then we don't need that. All we need now is just the tween. So for the tween, you know, we could change this. We could set this to in property wise. Um, let's see, let's see. For property wise, for the color, or sorry, not the color. We don't. We actually don't need the fill color. We just need the transparency. We really just need the trans. Yeah, we just need the transparency things. So really, outline transparency and fill transparency. So we could really say like, let's say outline, let's change this. So outline transparency and then delete this whole thing or just replace it, you know, with one, right? And then just change the transparent, the fill transparency to one, boom. We're gonna play the tween. And for the last thing, we're gonna use the debris service to add the highlight. So we're gonna say debris add item, highlight comma, and then one second, boom. Now we can go ahead and test to make sure everything works. As always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. 
links to either one of those options can be found in the description so we do have the ui it still works but then i was like yeah it's really a point for it because i'm thinking honestly of like removing because there's a really a point because you could clearly see what's going on okay so when i when i tested pretty much the rig like the, this whole body should pretty much like be highlighted like blue so boom okay it well you guys see that's how it's kind of supposed to work fill color hmm look at this something wrong okay so fill color Build color. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so for here, put highlight. I don't know why I put V. I don't know why I put. Well, usually in four hour loops, usually that's what it is. Usually, that's usually what it is. Okay, there we go. Because we're, we're modifying the highlights, not the not the. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now it works. You guys see? Okay. Well, it it didn't go away. But you guys, this is how it's supposed to look, though. So that works. Just an issue with um, it not going away for some odd reason. Okay, so if table that find infinity table v dot name table dot insert hit dot parent dot name. So far to v two v get children to if. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I forgot to change these. I forgot to change these. So you want to change this to V2, V2. Yeah, there we go, there we go. We didn't even make it to the actual, it didn't even actually get to the actual, like, highlight part. Okay, now, let's see. Blue. Fill transparent. Fill transparency. Why did I keep doing it? I don't know why I kept doing that. Okay, so highlight. I don't know why I kept putting, like, the instance, like, the char the character's instance. Okay. okay still not turning back to this regular color huh strange okay let me see so if if v2 is a part local highlights v2 to highlight highlight tween highlight tween play highlight one so transparency equals one I don't know just when it's equals one. So oh yeah, yeah, we're not even getting to we're not even getting this far yet now that I think about it. If table dot finds then four i two v two in Paris v get children. Two if v two is a mesh part or part. Hmm. V two dot highlight. Uh -huh. It's weird, honestly. I don't know why it's doing that. Mm. So unless I wonder, is it possible? Once mm. we complete the transparency, equals one. Let me test to see if it's even getting this far. I'm gonna figure out what's the. I'm gonna figure out what the issue is. So let's see. Okay, all right, it just worked. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, yeah, that's, actually, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, you guys see how it fades away? It might be a little bugged, not gonna lie, but it's an easy fix, though. Regardless, you probably just need to add, like, some, you know, just parameters to check. But yeah, there we go. Nice little fade in, fade out. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Um, If you want me to rework other abilities and stuff I made in the past, let me know. I want to say past, I'm talking about a couple months ago, not something I literally just made a couple weeks ago, not something I dropped like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support you shown me. Um, hope everybody's having a great 2024 so far. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.